Capricorns, Capricorns, Capricorns. Oh my God. Daddy wants to give each and one of you a big fucking hug. You all have been so fucking kind and generous to Daddy here. Okay? Your all's views is fucking crazy. If y'all didn't know it, Daddy's a Capricorn moon. I'm a Capricorn moon. Taurus, Venus, Gemini, Sun, and Scorpio, Rising. Cappies, you all have been... Oh, I can't... I can't not... I cannot appreciate your all's love. The likes, the shares, the subscribes. You all are... Mm, y'all are fucking amazing, Capricorns. Y'all are fucking amazing. I was sitting here trying to figure out what I was going to do, right? And I happened to be just flipping through my videos and looking, and I'm... I, Somehow I got 3,000 views on the videos. You guys are just fucking amazing. Y'all are just fucking amazing. So this is a Capricorn appreciation reading, okay, guys? I probably owe it to y'all. You see, I'm wearing my Not Today Satan shirt, right? And of course, Cappies, y'all are the devil. We are the devil. But sometimes that's a good thing, right? Sometimes it, sometimes we're just the devil's advocate, right? <laughs> sometimes we're just the devil's advocate. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus, Cappies. I send you all so much love and light, and you all have no idea how grateful and thankful Daddy is. You have no idea. Such love, guys. Such love. I feel it. Well, let's put some Jesus down here. Ooh, God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed against me and spirit of physical shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil. As is my collective spirit. What do we have for Capricorn? What do we have for my beautiful Capricorn collective? Spirit, give us something good. These people have been so kind to Daddy. So kind. Spirit, what do we have for my Capricorn collective? Please and thank you. Please and thank you, Spirit. Guys, it's raining outside. I don't know if you can hear it in the video. You know, um, my intuition is lit when it's fucking raining, guys. Spirit, what do we have for my Capricorn Collective? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Ooh, guys, I'm drawn to do the old school. Celtic. Oh, really, Spirit? Mm. Oh, really? Oh. Fucking A. Oh. Wow. Yeah, there you are, caps. There you are, caps. Jesus, Caps. Mmm. Good Lord. The Caps. Okay. The bottom of the deck, what's at play here? Now, just for what I've seen, without even reading these fucking cards, okay? I think you all were dealing with the real piece of shit. Capricorn, this could be you, but I don't think so. Because I think this is someone wanting to come toward you. I seriously do. Uh, Cappies, I think you've moved away from this situation, right? You, you've gotten your emotions together. You've hopped in your car, and you, you're like sped the fuck off. You're done. 
You're done. You've taken your broken heart. Now, maybe some of y'all had to go get drunk with some friends. You're talking to your friends. Some of you, some of you going out drinking with your girlfriend. You're having that so say goodbye, farewell, fuck off boyfriend <laughs> party celebration. Some of y'all might be drowning your uh, sorrows in liquor. Some of y'all are just celebrating with your girlfriends, right? What is this, Spirit? Because I, I I don't think you're wallowing in this. Whoever you're le whoever you left is, I can tell you that. Whoever did you dirty, they that they're they're fucked. They're fucked. I think they knew they had a good thing and they fucked it up. But Cappies, I think you done left. You're like a, you're like fuck this. Fuck this, right? You took your heart and you left the situation. And you physically moved. You could have moved. You could have left this person. I right? moved out of their house. You've moved on from this person. You've definitely released from this person. Emotionally, physically, you're you're removed from this situation. And now you've just got that, you know, three of cups, three three of uh, three of swords. There, thirty three guys that could resonate with you. It's a master number. Maybe they broke your heart because they chose a third party, right? Maybe it was a third party situation. At the end of the day, it's usually something really stupid, right? Someone has a good thing and they piss it away for something else. But Kathy, you left this situation. And I can tell you from, from just looking at this spread, this is going to be from their perspective. Well, I can tell you this much. Whatever the fuck they did, you can bet their ass. They're getting judgment for it. So if they did you dirty, you, we got the judgment in reverse and the hierophant here in reverse. So some of y'all, this is like a divorce case or this is something that's going to go to the court of law. Uh, now, I'm no lawyer, so don't, you know, don't take legal advice from me, but someone's definitely going to get some bad karma. Someone's definitely not going to get something in their favor for what the fuck they did. So, Cappies, if they chose someone over you, mm, they probably caught a fucking disease. Something they can't shake, you know what I mean? Herpes. The gift that keeps on giving. Mmm. Because Capricorns, I really think, at the end of the day, you really, really thought this was going to be, like, a good thing. You had such high hopes. They could have come in and told you how great it was going to be, right? I'm, I'm getting like a manipulative energy around here. I think they sold you a fucking fairy tale, Caps. I think they sold you a fairy tale and you believed in it. You believed in it. Some of y'all went, you you fell. You went, you went all in. You went all the fuck in. This is, I think some of you live with this person. You could have bought a house with this person. You could have been on the lease with this person. Because I think when you left, you like left residence. You you left. They fill your fucking absence. There is no doubt about that, Cappy. They fill your fucking absence. And this has probably something been going on in a while. Because here, we got uh, beneath the, the, this whole thing. I think they might have left you out in the cold for a hot minute. You know, maybe went ghost where they were playing around. Doing whatever the fuck they were doing. They ghosted your ass, halted communication, probably tried to pull some bullshit, because they wounded you. They wounded your ass. Oh, they did a job to you. You know, it's that nine of wands. He, he's got that bandage over his head. They probably did a lot of ghost lighting and, and fuckery with your head, a lot of mind games, a lot of tricks like that. This person did the most. This person did the most. But Cappy's... I think you took this pain and you, you know, some of you might have just delved into work, but I know a lot of you put work into healing yourself. Because I can tell you this much, if you moved the fuck away, you got your emotions centered and you hopped in that fucking vehicle and you drove your ass away from this situation, you've healed. You, you, you've, you've done the work. You put the work in to heal yourself, right? You got your chakras all aligned. You went out. Maybe some of y'all started a new uh, exercise routine. Uh, you getting out more. You're, you're, you're focusing on yourself. You're putting work into yourself. And I know this is your energy because you're the one that fucking left. You left this energy after they broke your fucking heart. And probably with the third party. With the Three of Cups being there. Uh, three, three, Three of Swords and the Three of Cups. 
that's how you that's how you got through this. That's how you um that's how that's how that's how you are getting through this situation, right? You're doing the healing. You're doing the healing. You've done the healing or you're in the process of doing the healing. Each one of you is going to be on a different timeline in this process, okay? So if it hasn't happened yet, you might just now be in in the in the energy of getting ready to to get your shit together and leave. Okay? Now what crowns this is the full in reverse, justice in reverse, ace of wands in reverse, and the queen of swords. Yeah, someone was a fool. Okay, someone tried to someone tried to fuck you over, Cappies, but now they just feel like the fucking fool, right? Whatever they thought they were gonna do, oh hell no, that didn't work. Oh, they thought they were gonna leave you and get a whole new start. Everything was gonna be good. Well, guess what? That bitch ain't got nothing. Guess what? That bitch gave them a gift that keeps on giving. Guess what? That bitch is going to cost them any growth in their life, right? They Whatever the hell they thought they were going to do that was so fucking great. Capricorns. Whew, well, they done learned the hard fucking way. Now they look like a fucking fool because they were a fucking fool. But there you are standing in your power. Or maybe who this person went to that they thought was so fucking great has turned out to be a fucking bigger bitch than you could have ever been, right? Oh, they thought they were fucking being great, but oh lord, did they not realize who the fuck they were getting, right? If they thought you might have griped about a few things, I'd say whoever the hell they ended up with probably never shuts their fucking mouth about bitching or riding their ass about something. Uh, so there's one of two ways here, Cappies, or it could be both, right? You done cut a bitch, you done... You're standing your ground, but I really think this person, what they thought was they were going to get, which is going to be so fucking great, Ooh. Ooh. They found a big old fucking see you next Tuesday, and they just cannot believe it, right? They got deceived, and they were trying to deceive you. Oh, my Lord. They had no idea what the hell they got their asses into, Cappies. And now they are feeling like a fucking fool. Because everyone's probably telling them, you were a fucking idiot. What the hell? You know, if they take their friends to meet this new person that they hooked up with, and their friends are like, what the fuck? Because this is probably just someone that never shuts their fucking mouth up about bitching, right? They could be cute and all this shit, but they just never shut the fuck up. Or, or what they say is stupid as shit, or they just keep nagging, nagging, nagging. Whoever the hell, whatever the hell their issue is, this person's feeling like a fucking dumbass. Because they're realizing, ooh, <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> Oh, and then we got your know, future outcome here. The high priestess in the upright, two of cups in reverse, knight of pentacles in the upright, and then we got you there, Cappy's the devil. <clears throat> now, Cappy's, I think this person's going to try to do a comeback around. I mean, I have to tell you that, Caps. You see that? They've gone in and they're thinking if they want to heal this situation. They might try to come in with a little peace offering because, you know, they know now they're a fucking dumbass. What they got, what they thought they were upgrading for with you, oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> you know, sometimes someone's karma is who the fuck they end up with, right? Let's face it, Cappies. Because there you are. And I <laughs> Capricorn. <laughs> I don't think you're going to give this person a chance. Because I love the fact, Caps, this tells me. I know from these cards you've done the healing. Yo, know, and this person might not realize just exactly to what extent you put the work into yourself. They don't understand that while they were doing their fuckery, while they were doing their shit, right? Hurting you and deceiving you and making you feel like shit. You just took that pain, that hurt, that anger, and you turned it to your advantage. You grew from it, right? So now this person is realizing that what they went for wasn't wish fulfillment. Yeah, you know what? The Queen of Wands here. That Queen of Wands wasn't wish fulfillment, right? Oh, far fucking from it. That Queen of Wands turned out to be their biggest fucking nightmare. But boy... Did this person not paint a pretty picture, though? Did this person not put on a good facade? 
She probably had the big old fake titties, the fake teeth, the fucking weave and shit. Oh, they looked a pretty picture. Oh, they looked a pretty picture. Ooh, Lord, till someone got the price tag and realized what the fuck they were getting. Oh, they look like wish fulfillment. They look like wish fulfillment, but boy, this person has learned the hard fucking way. Yeah, because now this person realizes all the time and work they had put in with you. Because I think you were probably with this person for a while. Because I think some of you were probably, you had a house together, you were on a lease together. You, 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 you built with this person. You had a stable foundation. I definitely feel that. But boy, this person just did the best to you, right? Oh, communicating behind your back, probably in the same fucking house that you're living in, right? You're sitting there watching TV and they're texting somebody. They tried to do all this shit behind your back because they just thought, oh, you know, because who they were dealing with painted this pretty fucking picture, right? This other woman, had, oh, whoo, she a master manipulator. Oh, they met their match. Thank God. Thank God for you. Thank God for you, this person come along to let you see who the fuck you were dealing with. Because this person so easily strayed, mm-hmm. Uh, that bitch did you a favor, so you know what? You can thank her ass. Because, yeah, all the deception this person did behind your back. Oh, sweet Jesus. You know. You know. But, you know, like they say, sometimes the karma is who the fuck they end up with, right? Sometimes their karma is who becomes their baby mama that for the rest of their life, everyone knows they hit that shit raw. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's face it, guys. The Lord works in very fucking mysterious ways. But Cappies, I you you got this. Cause you know this person is watching you. You know everything. You are definitely, you know, they don't realize. Uh, and Cappies, I mean this from the bottom of my heart, right? When you slip into that devil mode, you know, you know the deception, you know the tricks that evil people play. You know the tricks. You know, you know the ropes, you know what to look for, and you know this person is watching your ass. You know they're spying, because they cannot stand the fact that they lost your ass. And now, whoever the fuck they ended up with that they thought was wish fulfillment is just a fucking burden. <laughs> Cappies. <coughs> I'm only laughing Capricorns because I know most of you are out of the pain from this. You might still have some vestiges of it, but you done realized, right? You realized when this person gave up such a good thing with you to go play with something that just looked all shiny and new, you were able to take that pain, that, that hurt, and transform it. It was transformative to you, right? Uh, it's like, you, you know, you took the negative and you turned it into a positive. And you, you done the healing. Now, those of you that are not on this timeline... This is a good timeline to follow. This is a good set of action to take. Once you move away, put that time and work and energy in yourself. Just let them go. Let them be. Because I can tell you this. Whatever the hell they thought they were going to that's going to make them happy, it's not what they think. And by the time they realize it, it's going to be too fucking late. They're going to want your ass back. Because you all had something built. You all had something stable. There was something here that was stable. Yeah, this person's trying to manifest, but they don't know what the fuck is up. They have gotten themselves so tied up and caught up in a situation. Yo, maybe they all went, maybe, maybe they did go out and knock some bitch up, right? Who they thought was wish fulfillment? This bitch was just waiting for a damn freaking check. She knew what she was doing, right? She played her cards right till she got this person nabbed, and then once she had the baby in her, you know what? She knew she was set for life. This person done trapped themselves, and now they're trying to figure out how the fuck to get out of it, right? They're trying their damnedest. They want to manifest you back. They don't know how they're going to do it. And this is the basis of the matter. This person is so fucking stuck and trapped. They're trying anything they can to get out of this fucking energy. How's it going to work for them, spirit? <laughs> Ace of Cups in reverse. It ain't going to work. Spirit's like, you threw away love. Capricorn loved you, and you fucking treated him like a fucking piece of shit. So, you know, Cappy's gonna pull their love. They're not gonna care anymore. Because you didn't care when you left them to go chase your nine of cups. Capricorn was your tenth cup. You knew Capricorn loved you. You knew that. 
Capricorn had to go heal themselves, and Capricorn did. How people are viewing the situation here. Yeah, Six of Cups in the upright, Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Four of Pentacles in the upright, and the Tower in reverse. Everyone around knows, you know, you guys could definitely, the Six of Cups here could have been high school sweethearts. Y'all were together for a while. Y'all were together for a while. This was a stable foundation you all had built. And you thought it was built on love, right? Uh, we got seven of pentacles there, so seven could be a significance to some people. But you put a lot of time and energy, blood, sweat, and tears into this. And your fucking money. You know, you had combined accounts with this person. This wasn't just some little fuck buddy uh, type situation. You were, you, were, you were committed to this person, one way or another. Because you thought. You thought you'd have it forever, right? You thought this person was stable. You trusted this person. But then the tower in reverse came. It's just a loss. You had to you had to just chalk it up to a loss, right? And the reason why I feel this tower isn't in the upright, Cappies, is because you took the choice. You took the initiative. When Spirit was telling you to get the fuck out of Dodge, you did it. So Spirit saved you the major tower moment that could have hurt and bruised you. So it was just a loss. You were smart enough to chalk it up to a loss, right? Spirit didn't need to come in and blow your ass out the fucking uh, front door for you to realize to get the fuck out of Dodge. You listened. You seen the signs. You realized it was time to go. You were trusting your intuition. You were looking at the red flags. You knew. So you did it. So Spirit didn't have to come in and blow your shit up. You just, you just took the L. Cappies, good for you. you. Good for you, Capricorn. Hopes and fears, right? Someone ain't happy. This ain't you, Capricorn. It's who fucked you over, right? Two of uh, wands in the upright, six of pentacles in reverse, and the queen of pentacles in reverse. Uh, you're, you're sitting good, right? But this other person now, I've had a crossroads trying to figure out what the fuck they're going to do. Oh, they want to come back, but they realize how they treated you, right? Because this, if, if this person, if you all were going through a divorce or something, even though they left your ass, they were the one that was probably trying to take the most from you. Someone definitely was doing some shit. Because, boy, they thought they found wish fulfillment. And a disease and a fucking baby later, ooh, they realized who the fuck they got. They got the devil herself. And now they're paying for that fake ass hair. And they're paying for them fake ass titties. And they're paying for that shit. And for the next 18 years, they're going to be paying for a child. Plus, they got herpes. I keep wanting to say herpes, guys. So, <laughs> I'm the one to say herpes. This this person got the most, okay? Whatever they thought was shiny. I'm just, you know what, guys? I really, I, what I picture is them moving off to, like, someone that looked like a Playboy uh, model. You know what I mean? Someone that was just too good to be true, and they just thought they were the fucking shit. You know what I mean? But this, this woman was all fake. Everything was fake, right? Everything was fake. Everything was fake or bought. <laughs> yeah, that's what I see in my head. This person was like... The, 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 I, I'm get, Guys, I'm getting it's a female they ran off to. And this woman was just like... She was like, uh, you know, what you would say. You know, a model perfect. But everything was like... Fake or bought, you know? But there you were in your fucking natural beauty. And this person knows they did you This person knows they did you wrong. And they did the fucking most here, guys. But you know what? I love the fact here, uh, Capricorns. At the end of the day, you're sitting in your power with the Empress energy right here. You're done with this King of Swords energy, right? Notice the King of Swords... It's a match to the Queen of Swords. Yeah, this ex that wants to come back, who probably married this person, or seriously, you know, that they that they're they're now together in kind of some official manner, right? Definitely could have married this person. Cause you see, she's in the upright, he's in the reverse. He done a lot, yo. Know, she manipulated and played his ass pretty fucking good. But you're sitting there, Empress energy. You're single, you're alone, you're giving birth. But the Empress there, maybe you maybe you moved on to somebody else, right? You're standing in your power against this King of Swords. And no matter what, uh, Six of Wands in reverse, Strength in reverse, 
King of Wands in reverse, and the King of Cups in reverse. No matter what this person tries to come back and say or do, if they even have the balls to do it, with the King of Cups there and the King of Wands in reverse and the King of Swords in reverse, this person knows they did you so fucking wrong, they can't even think about it. Yeah, you know, they can't even muster up the strength of the words that come towards you, Cappies. So it's like, whatever the hell they thought, if they thought that, you know, if this failed, they could come running back to you and you take their ass back, you fooled them. You fooled them. And now they're stuck. They're stuck with who they thought was wish fulfilled, but who's slowly fucking driving them crazy and, and, and making them bankrupt if they had any bit of fucking money. Yeah, because look at this. Ooh, be careful the options you choose. It's going to drain you. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, your person is definitely not, yeah, definitely not doing too hot right now. Whatever money they had, it's gone or it's going to slowly be dripping from them. Like I said, some of them, that wish fulfillment of theirs got, got a baby pretty quick. She, she got knocked up pretty quick to ensure she had a check coming in. Dirty cups, man. Dirty cup. Hepatitis. Someone costs something that they have for the rest of their lives. You know, it's a gift that keeps on giving, guys. Take it how it resonates, Cappies. Take it how it resonates. But Cappies, you're, you're, you're not going to tolerate this shit. Now, those of you that aren't on this journey... Now, Cappies, that was, uh, you know what? I don't know where the hell the herpes come from, but y'all realize between you Capricorns, y'all got about 10,000 views. So I'm definitely feeling y'all's energy, okay? Uh, I keep picturing, the, uh, I like this this fake-ass blonde that you see, or like a brunette. It's like one of them, like like a Playboy model, right? I mean, everything is fucking perfect. Everything is perfect about this woman, right? The hair, everything is just like perfect. But you take it all off and they're just so fucking basic, right? Because the titties are fake, the teeth are fake, the hair is fake, everything is fake. Everything is fake. And I just picture this this kind of regular dude thinking he was getting something major. It was, it was wish fulfillment. And she played the role. She played him very good to get what she wanted. And then bam. You know, with the Queen of Swords there, she could be dumber than shit, right? He can't even take her around as friends because she can't even hold a conversation. But she's pretty to look at. Whatever the hell they... They, they thought they were getting wish fulfillment, and it did not work out for them, Cappies. <sighs> what word of advice do you have for my Capricorn? I don't think y'all need much advice, though, because you were smart enough to get the fuck out of Dodge. See, you guys are a good case study of what happens when you listen to Spirit, and Spirit tells you to remove yourself from a situation. The universe don't have to come in and blow that shit up. You just take the loss, and you create your own tower, right? You control your own detonation of that tower. You know, when you control it, you kind of know where it's going to fall. So that way, you don't have to worry about... Uh, cleaning up the mess, right? You just promptly removed yourself. It's a good case study is what to, in what to do in these situations. So Capricorns, if this isn't your story or you're at a various part in this story, listen to the game, the, the, the playbook that Cappy's played out here because that's exactly how you do it. Once you know this person is gone or going to leave your ass, you start working on yourself. You control the towers. That way you control what happens. You control the fallout. That's just being smart. Some of y'all, you might still be in your feels for this person because you are the Queen of Cups energy here. Very emotional, right? And some of you haven't quite made that, that step to move away from it yet. But I'm telling you, that's a perfect playbook. If you're gonna if you're gonna follow a fucking playbook, that's the playbook to, to follow. Get your shit together, move away from the situation, physically remove yourself from the situation as soon as you can. Then start working on yourself. Then start working on yourself. Cappies, that was absolutely fucking beautiful reading. That's like a case study for how every breakup should go. I really feel this was more than just a simple breakup. You all were living together. You all had property together. You all were committed. This was, a, this was like a committed situation. 
<sighs> the magician in reverse, Knight of Cups. Yeah, this person's going to try their damnedest to come back. Because you know it. You know it. Because you know what the hell they ended up with. And, but, Kathy, I think with the way they left you, you're, I, don't, I don't see you doing this. I think you've realized your self-worth. You're going to move on in your strength and power, and you're going to be like, oh, no. You can stay with who you thought was better than me. You guys are a perfect match. You're both fake as fuck. I'm going to go in search of my wish fulfillment. What, what, what do you get for Cappies in love? What do you get for those Cappies in love? Those of you interested, Daddy don't really like to do love readings, but let's see. What good is coming in for Capricorn in love? Do you see anything? Knight of Swords in reverse. I'm thinking there's someone wanting to talk, but they're afraid. I, I, you Cappies, I'm telling you, I think, I think you're intimidating people now. If you haven't figured that out, you're like standing in your fucking power. Whatever the hell this person did to you, whoo, you 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 took that energy, that pain, and you used it. Yeah. See, I think you got an opportunity coming in. Because we got the Wheel of Fortune here, which is a 10. Things are definitely going in your favor right now. You know, ride this way. Ride this fortune. Ride this good luck. Ride all this good energy that's coming towards you. Because, yeah, you deserve it, Caps. You deserve it, Caps. I think there is someone maybe wanting to come in and start communicating with you. But like I said, I think I think that you're you're like riding this intimidation. You're 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 standing in your power, that Empress energy. You know, when someone is standing in Emperor and Empress energy, man, you know, there ain't people gonna fuck with that. Cause they know. They know, especially if this is someone that knew what the fuck you went through and how you got up and now you looking good, you glowing, you out there fucking conquering the world, getting what you want and everything's going in your favor. Someone might be a little intimidated. They're like, damn, they might cut my ass, right? Look at that. And that's how we're going to end your reading Capricorns because that is fucking what you get. That is your reward for doing the work. Like I said, not every Capricorn is going to be on this journey or has, has, has completed this journey. But if you haven't, the playbook is exactly how the fuck you do it. They want to leave your ass and go after somebody else. You glow the fuck up. You let them go. And you let them stay. You let them stay. You let them stay. Oh, you thought they were better than me before. Well, now you're stuck with it. Good luck with that. Cappies, I love you. Thank you all again for the fucking views. You guys are... <laughs> oh, y'all are fucking amazing. Love you, Caps. Love you, Caps. Love you, Caps.